Let me go ahead and play through that portion of the tune with the full arrangement, and then we'll sort of uh, identify points of interest as we go. So here we go. <laughs> So we're going to kind of go phrase by phrase through this uh, first part of the tune, and um, I'll point out a couple things. Let me uh, sort of preface this all by saying that uh, with a piece like this, um, anything where you're playing the melody especially, but even more so with a piece like this where the bass is everything, uh, you know, there's no other accompaniment going on, I really want to encourage you to make every effort to emote when you're playing. And there are specific things technique-wise that will help you accomplish that. It's the same as, as verbal speech, where the manner in which I say something, you know, if I, if I make every word like this, or if I raise my voice or lower my voice or, or bring it down to a whisper, you know, all of those things will uh, contribute to, the, to what I'm communicating, um, you know, maybe to a greater extent even than the words I'm using. So, um, and by the way, I talked about this a great deal in uh, my Volume 2 DVD, um, Grooving for Heaven. So if you have any questions on that, by the way, uh, feel free to go check that out. But um, yeah, so d definitely try to emote with this and work on your, uh, you know, use phrasing and dynamics and all of those things. And I'll kind of point some of that stuff out to you as we go. Um, so the top of the tune. Okay, now you'll notice it's not... Right? Um, and I'm sort of exaggerating that a little bit, but you know, you get the point. Um, there's slurs and hammers, vibrato. There's my F sharp minor seven, right? Again, slur, uh, or hammer, however you want to look at it. Artificial harmonic, right? Another slur. <laughs> 